friend of mine once said that if you're ever going to take a video or photo, make it sexy. Hi, my name is Sean. I'm one of the engineering dads, uh, a group dedicated to building ho fun home projects. What the footage you just saw was out of a motorized camera slider. Go on for more footage like that at the end. You might be asking, what is a motorized camera slider? Well, it's one of these. This is a camera slider. It enables a camera to slide across on a specific rail, um, like a dolly or something like that. Um, now, this one cost me not much. It was, I think it's $50 for shipping. And it's a very fun tool, but without a motor, it kind of gets a bit of bumpy footage. To get around that kind of bumpy footage, what we do is we attach a motor to the side of it. Now the problem with that is a motorized camera slider can cost quite a little bit. Entry models cost between $400 to $500, and then the higher end multi-directional ones cost well over a thousand. And so being a uh, <coughs> frugal gentleman, and, and as well as an engineering dad, I thought I could probably build it for a little bit less. Now this is a stepper motor. I'm gonna turn it on so you can kind of hear what it sounds like. It's a little bit louder than normal AC and DC motors. It's also not as fast as those types. However, it's incredibly precise, which is exactly what we want. Um, you want it to have those really long time lapses. So a stepper motor is exactly what you need. The next step is to attach it to the slider. Now, uh, I 3D printed a small part because I could, James let me use his. But having said, I could probably make this out of wood. Um, if the worst comes to it, just a bit of duct tape and cable ties might even suffice. Now that slides oh, perfectly in there. Mwah, delicious. And then the final little piece that makes up the motorized camera slider is this little spindle. Now, again, 3D printed, but uh, you can definitely find other alternative methods. So it sits there and drags the camera slider across. If you don't have access through a 3D printer, I went to J-Car and just bought a random um, wheel off a car there, and you know what? That works too. Look, it works. Zoom, zoom, baby. Okay, so here's an addition I thought that was really, really cool. It's attached a pencil to the top so you can kind of visually see it spinning a bit easier. Now, inside this box is a Arduino power supply. Uh, on the top here is the on and off switch, and in here are the toggle switches. Okay. Now, leaving it on the top, uh, uh, if I leave all the toggle switches on, it'll take about 90 seconds to move to the length of the rail. However, if I turn it off, it slows down. On the fly, you can decide between 90 seconds to an hour how long you want this to slide across, which means it's really ideal if you're moving around and really compact. Now, this idea is not mine. It's from another YouTube video. I'll link it down below. But I thought it was a really nice addition. I would love to have it in my project as well. Inside this box is everything that is needed to drive this motor. It's got a power supply. It's got an on and off switch. It's got the computer inside. It's now also got a micro SD charger, so it's completely rechargeable, which I thought was kind of fun. Um, effectively, I've turned a motorized camera slider out of a normal camera slider for honestly 20 bucks. It's probably the cheapest one that I've seen online. Um, probably also the simplest in design, but I mean, if it looks stupid, but it works, it's not stupid. Um, before we move on, please consider liking and subscribing. Um, we're a very small channel. We're just getting off the ground now. So anything that helps. We also do have a Patreon set up. Um, any finances that go away, go straight back into our projects. And so uh, bigger and uh, larger products are ahead. Now, without further ado, I have been Sean. I'm part of the Engineering Dads. And here's the rest of the footage that we took on this motorized camera slider. Thank you. 